Let's talk about the tab Devices under the Settings section on the SafetyNS dashboard. I'll tell you about adding devices on this tab. Also, you can get full information about the settings in our guides under the Help section. Let's take a closer look. This is the Devices tab. This is one of the main tabs where we add devices that we want to filter and assign filtering policies to them. This can be both routers and standalone devices such as laptops, cell phones, tablets, and many more. Firstly, you will see the field with your current IP address as well as the IPv4 and IPv6 addresses of our DNS servers. Below is the field for adding your IP address or Dyn DNS hostname. Depending on whether you use a static IP address or a dynamic one, we add them here. Also, here you can assign a filtering policy for this address. To change the filtering policy for this address, click on the pencil icon on the right, select the policy from the drop down list, and click the green check mark. Please keep in mind that in order to have a choice, you must have created more than one filtering policy. The VPN section is used to configure filtering on mobile devices and devices running different operating systems, such as Mac OS. Linux, or on any devices that support the OpenVPN client. To configure, come up with and enter a connection name. It can be any name you can think of. Then, select a filtering policy and click Add. Right after creating the connection, you will need to download and install the config file to the OpenVPN client. You can download it by clicking on the cloud icon or receive it by email by clicking on the envelope icon. DD client is used in cases where you have a dynamic IP address and your router does not have a Dyn DNS feature. Information about the running DD client will appear here after installation. The policy can also be changed in this part. The Agents section shows all installed agents within your account and also allows you to change their filtering policies centrally. The policy change is carried out according to the same principle as in the part of IP addresses. And the last part under the Devices tab is the NAT DNS. The NAT DNS function allows you to apply different filtering policies to your internal networks or devices located in the filtered network. Select a policy from the drop down menu and then configure the NAT DNS address corresponding to the policy as the DNS address on the desired internal network or device. That's all for the Devices tab. More information about filtering settings you can find in our Guide section under the tab 